Before starting the tutorial, I would like to thank PopMart for sending me this amazing present. This is a whole set of Peggy Rapid Cafe figurines aka blind boxes and I will unbox it with you guys. This whole set contains a total of 12 figurines and if you want to purchase for yourself, you can click the link in the description box below. And don't forget to follow the social media of PopMart so you will not miss the updates when they release new figurines or blind boxes created by talented artists. Now let's start unboxing. Here comes the first one. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Okay, these look like cookies stuck together with chocolate on top. And the figurine is... Oh, that's adorable. And his name is Poco Cookie. Now moving on to the second one. It's accessory is a house. Oh no, a cafe. And the figure is, oh, that's cute. Now let me display it all together and this looks like he is rating his customers. That's cute. And his name is Rapid Cafe. Here comes the dead one. He's cute. I don't know why I was shaking it. I don't know what this is, maybe coffee related thing. But they look cute together. And his name is Poco Barista. Let's unbox another one quickly. And... A rabbit? I don't know, but it's adorable. Oh, it's a penguin. Look, he's holding a menu. That's adorable. Let me check his name. It's cafe menu. It's symbol, but... He's super adorable. Okay, I see a mini box and it is named Coffee. Let's check the figure. Oh, he looks like a brown jelly bean. Oh, look, he can sit in the box like this. Oh, that's cute. Let me check his name. And he's Coffee Bean. Can you see the tiny coffee beans on his head? That's cute. Okay, another one. Oh, I think she looks like a maid. Let me check. Ah, oh, she's a waitress, a rapid waitress. She also comes with these accessories, which are a coffee pot and I guess it's a coffee cup. And look, she can hold the coffee pot. I love this. That looks scrumptious. Oh my gosh, I want to grab a drink now. And his name is Poco Latte. That's cute. And look, he has flavor. He is super sweet. <laughs> okay, another one which looks super appetizing. Let me check his thing. And he is strawberry pancake. Oh, that's the pancake. I think he's sleeping on honey. Okay, there's two more to go. And he looks like a robot. Oh my gosh. And look, you can spin the thing on his head. Oh. And his name is Coffee Grinder. Oh, that makes sense. I don't know what this is. Maybe coffee related thing again. Oh, she's cute. And look, she can hold the coffee. Let me check her name. She is Rapid Barista. Oh. And look, she's taking the coffee from the machine. Here comes the final one. There's only the drink one and the rare one left. I don't know which one I will get, so wish me luck. I think I will just get the normal one because I know myself. I'm not that lucky. Oh, that's the drink one for sure. Let's check the figure. Oh, she looks cute. And she comes with this tiny thing. I don't know what that is. 
I think I love this one more than the real one. Her name is Rainbow Slushy. So now the unboxing is finished. My favorite one is the Rainbow Slushy and the Poco Latte. Which one is your favorite? Please comment down below. By the way, throughout the whole unboxing, I was super impressed by the quality of the figures. I don't know what they are made of, but they give the high quality vibe. And I think it is worth purchasing. If you want to purchase for yourself, please check out the link in the description box below. And there are many other figures like Harry Potter and Disney. So now let's start the tutorial. Let's make the leg first, make a magic ring. And to start round one, chain two first. Then add six half double crochet into the magic ring. Yarn over, insert your hook into the ring, pull the yarn, yarn over and pull through all three loops. And you got one half double crochet. Make six half double crochet in total. For this pouch, you can use any kinds of yarn with any appropriate hook. For me, I use 5 blind McCotton yarn with 3.5mm crochet hook. After 6 half double crochet, pull the tail and the ring will be closed completely. To end this round, make a slip stitch in the second chain of chain 2. And round 1 is complete. Whenever you finish a round, always chain 2 and then after that, repeat the pattern. For round 2, you will have to make half double crochet increase for 6 times. For the increase stitch, make, half, make 2 half double crochet in 1 stitch. So repeat making 2 half double crochet into each stitch until you reach the start point. You will get a total of 12 half double crochet. There will be a stitch left after making 12 half double crochet. Don't worry, just skip it and make a slip stitch into the second chain of chain 2. To start round 3, chain 2. And for round 3, you have to make half double crochet 12 times. That means you have to make half double crochet into each stitch. And when you get 12 half double crochet, make a slip stitch into the second chain of chain 2. When you finish round 3, cut the yarn and make the second leg. For the second leg, repeat the pattern of round 1 to 3. After making the second leg, insert your hook into a stitch of the first leg and make a slip stitch. Now we are joining the two legs together. After making a slip stitch, let's start round 4. To start round 4, chain 2 first and then half double crochet 24 times. That means you have to half double crochet into each stitch. How you will get 24 stitches is that there are 12 half double crochet on each leg. So make sure to crochet 12 half double crochet on each leg. And you will get a total of 24 stitches. When you have to continue crocheting on the second leg, just make half double crochet on the stitch of the second leg and just keep repeating. Don't forget to make a slip stitch at the end and chain 2 to begin from round 5 to 13. Make half double crochet into each stitch and you will get like this, the body of the animal. There are 9 half double crochet each stitch row in total and I will meet you at round 14. For round 14, half double crochet into each stitch until you reach the side part, what I mean is the folded part. And make the increase stitch at the middle two stitches of the folded part 
So now I reach the side and these two are the middle stitches and I will make increase stitches into those two stitches. So now I made the increases for two times and then after that half double crochet into each stitch until you reach another side and when you reach another folded part you will have to make increases for two times in the middle two stitches. After increasing make half double crochet into each stitch until you reach the start point. Also for round 15, half double crochet each stitch until you reach the folded part and this time we will have to make increases for 4 times that means increase in the middle 4 stitches of the folded part and then after that half double crochet each stitch until you reach another side and when you reach another side make increases in the middle 4 stitches then half double crochet until you reach the end. So now I finished making increasing at the folded part. So now half double crochet each stitch until you reach another folded part and then in that middle four stitches make the increases for round 16 and 17 half double crochet each stitch and then this time we will make decreases two times in the middle four stitches of the folded part so when you reach the folded part and when you reach before its middle 4 stitches, let's make the decrease in the first 2 stitches. Yarn over, insert your hook into the friend loop and another friend loop. Then pull the yarn, pull through the 2 friend loops and then make a half double crochet and you make a decrease stitch. Also for the second decrease, insert your hook into the friend loops of the next 2 stitches and then make a decrease after that make half double crochet into each stitch until you reach another middle four stitches of the folded part and when you reach those middle four stitches make decreases for two times and then half double crochet each stitch until you reach the end here I reach another folded part and I'm making the decrease stitch. For another round, repeat the same pattern, half double crochet each stitch, but in the middle four stitches of the folded parts, make decreases for two times. Here I'm working on a new round and I'm gonna finish it and for this round I don't have enough stitches to decrease to make decreases for two times I only have three so I make the first decrease and then for the second one I just have the crochet in the next stitch and then after that I make a slip stitch into the second chain of chain two. For round 18, 19 and 20 make half double crochet into each stitch and then after that we will make the cover of the pencil case for this we will walk in row so chain two and turn your walk and then after that half double crochet each stitch until you reach the folded part
So now I reached the folded part, so I will stop making half double crochet and move on to a new row. For row 2, chain to a tenure walk and make a half double crochet into each stitch. This is how I made the last half double crochet. Make it between the space of the stitch and the chain 2. And this is how I make the last half double crochet. Then for row 3, chain 2 again and turn your work and half double crochet each stitch. And for row 4, half double crochet each stitch until you reach middle 2 stitches. And when you reach middle 2 stitches, chain 2, skip those 2 stitches, and then half double crochet each stitch until you reach the end. So now chain 2. Skip 2 stitches and make a half double crochet into the 3rd stitch. Then repeat making half double crochet until you reach the end. When you finish making, chain 1 and cut the yarn and then weave in the ends. So now the main body of the pencil case is finished. For the rabbit's ear, repeat round 1 to 3 of the leg pattern and then after that for round 4 to 6, half double crochet each stitch. After that, leave a long tool for sewing, and this is how I sew the rabbit's ear on the pencil case. You can use any sewing methods you want. Make sure to secure the yarn of the sewing, and then weave in the ends. For the rabbit's arms and the bear's arms and ears, repeat the pattern of leg, and then leave a long tail for sewing. You don't need to stuff those parts, just sew them on the pencil case. This is how I add the face of the rabbit. Use a long black thread and add the details. For the Benny's eyes, I sew the stitches for 3 times for each eye and they look kind of big and cute. If you want to add blush to the Benny, use pink eyeshadow or blush and then color it with your finger. For the heart, please watch my bear pouch tutorial and make 2 hearts and then after that, sew and stuff them together. For the strawberry, repeat the pattern of the leg and for round 4, make half double crochet into each stitch and then stuff the strawberry and leave a long tool for sewing. Now I will show you how to crochet the leaf, make a magic ring, chain 1 and make a half double crochet A double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook, pull through two and pull through two. Then half double crochet and then a slip stitch into the magic ring. You have to repeat making half double crochet, double crochet, half double crochet and slip stitch for five times in total. 
After five times, you will get like a green star. You will get like this after repeating for five times, and after that, leave a long tail for sewing. Then sew the leaf on the strawberry, and then after that, if you want to add the strawberry seed, use yellow yarn or maybe white yarn and add the seeds. Now I will show you how to sew the strawberry between the bunny's arms. So now the tutorial is finished and I'm so proud of you because you finished making the cutest pencil case. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please don't forget to like this video and also click on the subscribe button so I can upload more of like this in the future. Don't forget to follow me on social media and with that being said, see you all in my next video. Bye bye!